morning. Sorry for the way that I look right now. I'm fresh out of bed, about to go to the gym. So excuse the vibes. We're gonna get cute later. But I just wanted to start off this vlog and I feel like a lot has changed in the last few months, like since I stopped vlogging, like my last vlog compared to now, I feel like I'm an entirely different person. Um, and I feel like I have a lot of positive information that I've learned recently and health tips and fitness tips and weight loss tips that I can share with people that have really helped me when I was struggling. I mean, I was struggling as recently as last month. Why am I not losing weight on the scale? Why am I like not feeling good in my clothes? What is going on? Is it a problem within me? I realized how I was eating wrong and I just feel like it's so important to me to share this information with you guys. Um, especially because something I kind of cut out recently that I'm kind of seeing if that was the problem or not is something that I talked about a lot and that did originally help aid in my weight loss recently when I lost weight in 2021, 2022. I don't know, there's just a lot of different things that I've learned. I go to the gym every single morning, but I love to go in the early mornings. I'm an early morning workout girly because I know myself, I will not go later in the day. I don't like going at night and in the afternoon, I just don't. And I just know if I get myself up and at them in the morning, I'm gonna feel amazing for the day. Serotonin's gonna be flowing. I'm gonna have a way better day than if I didn't go in the morning. So that forces me out of bed every single morning. And then how I eat, is so important. So I'm not gonna talk about that here. I'm gonna talk about that a little later in the day. I'm gonna try on a workout set that I got. I'll show you guys that too because it's so cute and I never get new workout sets. It felt really nice to order a new workout set knowing that I'm basically a gym girly now. I never thought I could say that. I never thought I'd become that. And I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna take some Instagrams today, do some work stuff, you know? <laughs> not really, I really don't, I don't work. But that's fine. We're gonna hang out today. This is my job. It's not even a job. I rarely get paid from it at all but this is my job internally because I feel like I miss when I am not connecting with you guys literally if I get valuable information like I'm sharing it with you guys like I am sharing it with you guys you guys might feel disconnected with me I freaking love you okay and I understand trust me I understand if you feel disconnected from me I post like three times this year so far. I love you guys so much. I have valuable information. I know a lot of you are here for health, fitness, wellness journey type of stuff, knowing that I lost essentially 50 pounds. And I know there's a lot of you here that are probably like, who is this like gym girl? Who is this girl that like rapidly lost weight? Like what is going on? I was here for so long and like, I don't like this kind of content and I'm sorry. This is just the place of life that I'm at right now. And you know, I feel like I just, I've learned so much. I've become a health type of girly, a fitness type of girly, and um, that's just where I'm at. So I hope you still wanna keep watching. I hope it helps you. If not, I will totally be posting other stuff. I'm gonna post um, about our wedding coming up super soon. Wedding, our elopement, I should say. Um, that's happening really soon, so I'll keep you guys in the loop with that. Um, I'm gonna make like another morning routine video. We're gonna go to a coffee shop tomorrow. I'm gonna do cute little vlogs, okay? I am. A big portion of them are going to be probably health-centered. But also just like vibes, you know, like day in my life vibe. I just got a bunch of cute fall decor. That's the cute stuff I want to do, you know? I just have the fall ambiance going right now. It's a beautiful, foggy, gloomy day outside. I love when it's foggy outside and it's just super cold. It's giving fall. It is amazing. I am so happy. This is the best time of year. My birthday's coming up. I'm getting married in the very, very near future, very, very soon. It feels good, I'm growing. You guys, I'm about to enter the last year of my 20s. A lot has changed, a lot has changed. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the gym right now. I gotta feed Callie breakfast and then we will join back together. And I'm gonna show you guys about my Ninja Creamy. Oh, uh, get ready, get ready. There's so many updates I have, so stay tuned. Every night for the last like three nights, I've been having this entire pint of Ninja Creamy protein ice cream that I make for dinner. It's filling because it has like 50 grams of protein in this. It has like seven grams of sugar. I'm very much a non-big dinner type of gal. This is the greatest purchase I've ever bought. Please go buy a Ninja Creamy right now. Eating this for dinner is what made me break my plateau. Like, make it make sense. A giant pint of healthy ice cream. It's literally ice cream. This is toxic. It's not good for you, Bubby. It's not good for you, Bubby. <laughs> she wished it. No. No. 
You can't have it. You can't have it. Early the next morning. Juan Valdez, baby. I get this from Walmart. It's gotta be one of the best instant coffees ever. I drink this every single morning. I do like, uh, low-key a huge scoop and a half. <laughs> I do a lot of coffee. And then I fill it up with ice. You guys know the deal. I'm realizing I'm a little ridiculous because I use so many things. Toasted marshmallow, the vanilla sugar-free creamer, and then I did get this one again this year. I do really like it. It's the pumpkin spice zero sugar coffee mate. Super good. It does add like a really nice flavor when you mix the two. I mix all three, clearly, with milk. And this is unsweetened oatly. I have been waiting for something like this to come on the market for so long because Oatly, the regular version, does have a lot of sugar, a lot of calories. So usually I would do unsweetened almond milk, but when they came out with this, I was like, yes, I love me some oat milk. The creamier, the better for me. I use all four of these to make the most beautiful concoction with about a giant scoop and a half of Juan Valdez mixed in a little bit of water. I literally measure it so that it's like slightly above this handle. This is really intricate for a morning coffee, but you know what? It saves me five plus dollars every day, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Yeah, and then I pour the coffee in here and I start adding all the mix-ins, so super easy. This is my little fall coffee concoction. Delicious. See, I'm back. Looking much better, love. Looking much better. Another update, I guess, was that I got my hair done. I basically went back to my natural, and I just look better with dark hair. It just is the way that it is. I got rid of the blonde front piece, and I'm living for it! So, um, and shout out to Bellamy. I am wearing Bellamy extensions that I cut. I low-key just cut them, and these ones actually do not look that great. So, at the ends are probably crazy. I don't even know. I don't even know. But this is a part of my new workout set that I got. The set is from Garage. I'll show you like standing up. I didn't know they had cute workout clothes and this color, I had to have it, especially for the fall. It has little thumb holes and it's just like a two piece short set. I also got a new pair of Hoka's. I just got blessed with another pair of Hoka's, which if you haven't heard of Hoka's, I highly recommend them. The Clifton 9 specifically is my favorite. It's my favorite walking shoe. So the reason that we are here is we are going to give a little weight loss update and what has been going on with me. If you care, I'll give you an update about myself. And then I'll talk about the ways in which I lost 10 pounds in the last month. Um, since the beginning of September, I'm almost down 10 pounds. And that was really my struggle was the last 10 pounds. And I kept fluctuating. My lowest ever recorded was 112.7. I was hovering around 116 for so long, then 118, then 120. And then the last few months, last six months, I went down a little bit again. And then, and it's normal. I'm not saying this is anything bad. I'm not saying you have to worry if you fluctuate a few pounds at all. I am very petite. I am five feet tall. Every time I meet one of you in public, you guys are like, you are so tiny. I was not expecting that. I'm like, yeah, I know. So on me, you can tell, okay? And literally also my clothes. So it's like, it's so annoying when you even fluctuate like five pounds. And then um, I was basically struggling, working out every day though. I started working out every day since July 1st. Literally every day. I've missed maybe three days since July 1st and I still couldn't lose the weight and I was like going up I was like fluctuating I was going up I was getting so frustrated you guys like I ended up I think the highest I have recorded was 123.9 is that high no not at all did it look bad no not at all but I don't think I was eating properly I don't think I was fueling myself properly I was eating way too much processed food sugar-free processed food I was eating probably too much sugar that I didn't even realize too much fruit I've always made that my thing like because I'm not too much of a meat eater. I don't eat beef or pork. I still don't. I don't think I ever will. So I would always like kind of rely on fruit. And as much as fruit, I will say it till I am blue in the face, is an amazing food for you. You never have to cut out fruit. You never have to do anything like that, but portion control, because at the end of the day, it's still sugar. And I'm kind of seeing that now. Like I'm telling you, I would eat like so much. Like, and that's okay. And there's truly nothing wrong with that. It's healthy but I wasn't seeing the results. And my other big thing was oats. You guys know me, if you follow me on social media and Instagram specifically, I love to post my little oat pumpkin breads, my oat pancakes. I love to just make oatmeal in the morning and I love to break my fast with some kind of oat concoction. And I'm not saying there's anything inherently wrong with any of these foods, please. Please, 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 don't, like these are amazing healthy foods for you and they give you energy and they're carb sources and healthy fructose sugars and all that stuff. But 
Um, I don't think I was just eating correctly and eating the proper nutrients like together, I guess you could say, and was just kind of like eating foods that would either break down into sugar, which I believe, don't quote me, I'm not a, I'm not a health person, okay? I've just learned everything I have from the internet. Like I am not, you don't need to take advice from me or take any of this like too seriously. It's just what I've learned about me and my body and health in general. But I think oats break down as sugar, certain things break down as sugar, carbs, potatoes, I think. I don't know 100% sure. Potatoes are a great source though love potatoes will continue to eat them yeah i don't think i was quite understanding like okay my healthy oat pumpkin bread is amazing but it's not really helping me lose weight you know it has healthy stuff in it it's delicious but it's not really helping me get to where i want to be i basically started all this stuff started coming up on my for you page on tiktok about the animal-based diet and i already told you i don't eat pork or beef so animal-based diet has a lot of that in it. It has a lot of beef. Like people love to eat steak and stuff on the animal-based diet. That's not me, but I still do love my salmon and my chicken. Those are my two things. And of course I can eat eggs, cheese. Like I have kind of moved over to dairy products a little bit more than usual. I do eat a lot of low fat, plain Greek yogurt, um, some Fair Life skim milk, which is like the healthiest Fair Life you can get. It's like the lowest calorie sugar, whatever. So basically I discovered and it finally clicked with me and it's probably someone I saw on TikTok or multiple videos that made me come to this conclusion. I was breaking my fast every single day. Yes, my coffee was sugar-free, which is great and that uh, that will stay consistent forever and it aids in my weight loss because I love my coffee. Gotta have my morning coffee, you guys know that. I was starting my day off with sugar spiking my blood sugar which was then causing me to crash throughout the day making me much more hungry throughout the day making me snack a lot more through the day and if you're gonna work out but you're eating a huge sugary breakfast your body is gonna burn that first over the fat on your body when you eat carbs and you eat sugar like runners will eat like sugar and carbs and things like that so that they burn that on their run but i don't need any of that because i had enough fat on my body that it just needed to burn the fat on my body. I wasn't quite understanding my body and the fact that I did not need to break my fast with a bunch of fruit and a banana and oats. Every single day now, I start my morning with two eggs, pasture raised, and uh, either cottage cheese on the side or half an avocado. And I'll switch off whenever I get over the cottage cheese, I'll do the half an avocado and vice versa. I feel extremely healthy. Um, I'm not nearly as hungry. I don't crash throughout the day. I'm in a much better mood 24 seven and I've lost 10 pounds in like three weeks. On top of that, of course, I have kind of implemented a little bit more of like a intermittent fasting again, but not anything specific. I know some people don't agree with it, but it just basically, for me, means I eat when I'm hungry, which is usually around 11, 12, and I stop eating before it gets too late, so like 5, 36. And if I'm hungry, you know, I'll break the intermittent fast. It's not a big deal, but I don't feel the need to. Like my hunger is different you guys like I was always hungry okay and I'm not anymore and it's actually insane it's just been the craziest like thing to see my body change so quickly and like just everything about my health I don't even know how to explain it like I just feel so much different like my skin is not breaking out anywhere near I have this one pimple that was like taking a while to go away the one that you could see earlier but other than that my skin is literally clear I try to just stick to natural whole foods. Like I'm not eating my like sugar-free processed stuff. I'm not really eating like Quest. The only thing I like to eat right now actually, and I will totally eat 24 seven is Kind Bars. I think Kind Bars are so good and they're just like almonds and nuts and then covered in like a chocolate. So that doesn't have any sugar alcohols in it either. And so I love that because I'm really trying to stay away from sugar alcohol unless I have to or in my Ninja Creamy recipes, which there is a little bit of sugar alcohol in my Ninja Creamy recipes and in my iced coffee. Other than that, I'm not allowing myself to just eat protein bars for snacks and all that stuff. Like if I'm hungry, I'm gonna reach for the banana still, I'm gonna reach for the strawberries still, but my portions are much less. And of course, I'm making sure I start my day off with no sugar, no sugar. I don't wanna start eating sugar till about one or two. And then I throw in the fruit or whatever I'm craving at the time. And then I'll basically snack on other things. My favorite snack I discovered is dates and almond butter. That is not low calorie or sugar by any means, but it's natural. It's not a candy bar, it's not a fake protein bar. Dates and almond butter with a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. Thank me later if you've never heard of that. I'm not kidding. It's my fav absolute favorite food in the entire world right now. It says two to three dates is the serving size and the grams of sugar is literally 30. And I'm not scared of that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not scared of that. So don't be afraid to eat sugar or anything. I'm just talking about how and when I eat the sugar has changed my life 
On top of that, I eat a lot of Greek yogurt. I eat a lot of chia pudding. Chia seeds are amazing for you. I eat like low-key the same thing every day. Lots of chia pudding, lots of chicken. I eat chicken thighs, drumsticks, and chicken breast all the time, multiple times a week. Um, I eat salmon. It's a basic diet, but I'm telling you, I feel so much better. I look so much better, and it's life-changing. So, yeah, dates and almond butter are amazing. I'm trying to think of some of my other favorite, like, healthy snacks. I made, like, this, like, pumpkin cheesecake protein thing that had, like, no sugar in it. Uh, it was literally just, like, pumpkin puree, cottage cheese, and, like, a little bit of sugar-free maple syrup. So I will throw in my, my sugar-free maple syrup as, as sweetener and stuff here and there. I feel like that helps, but you don't have to. You could literally use regular sugar. But also, I like to eat all the nutrients together. I try, not all the time. But it's like, if I'm gonna have fruit, I like to put Greek yogurt and chia seed pudding with it. That's protein, healthy fats, and fructose, the fruit. So it's good kind of getting all the nutrients in one instead of just eating sugar by itself can spike your blood sugar. Therefore, I think when you spike your blood sugar like that, you're not burning fat. So there's a lot of, I'm like, bruh, how did I lose weight and not know these things as like facts? Like I'm confused. Like I'm, why am I just realizing what blood sugar is? Like, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Maybe this is not this is not crazy info and chances are you guys know all this already But also just watching people's animal-based diet stuff I just basically follow their plates like that's the kind of vibe I'm gonna eat of course on top of all of this I'm going to the gym every single day. Am I killing myself in the gym? No when I wasn't losing weight I was doing like 10 miles a day sometimes but now that I am losing weight. I do like three miles I do like 60 minutes 65 minutes every single day I do do incline, I do incline on the treadmill, about 5.0, 6.0 max for an hour at like 3.0 speed. So it's nothing crazy, I'm not killing myself, I've gotten so much healthier, and I think that's really helping me see the results fast too. So if you are looking to lose weight, try to implement some of those tips, go to the gym every single day, you, you really like have to motivate yourself and you have to try to go as much as you can. I used to just be a lot more relaxed than I am now with like health and fitness and all that, but it's like, I'm also getting older, as I said, I'm about to enter the last year of my 20s, and it's like, I need my heart to be healthy, I wanna live a long life, I wanna look good for as long as I possibly can. You know, I'm very motivated to get up and out there, so I think you should be too, and this is your motivation to get up and out there, and um, get working out, get heart healthy, eat healthy foods, eat real foods. I eat sweet potatoes with sriracha and light mayo, that's another meal that I have. Oh, I love black beans, love black beans, I eat those all the time. Those are a lot of my food sources, just real foods. But of course, like I said, try to like incorporate healthy fats, proteins, and carbs, and whatever like together, and in smaller portions if you can. But um, yeah, so that's literally how I'm almost at my healthiest weight in my adult life. Um, let me see, I have my app. So I got like a smart scale. I didn't have a smart scale for so long. I just had one of those like $15 ones from Target. And I got a smart scale and I use the app Fit Days. I got the scale from Walmart on sale, but it's a really good scale. And it shows like your body weight, like your BMI, your water, like the amount of water you have. It's like one of those scales. So I weighed myself today after the gym and I was 114.6 pounds. At the beginning of this month, that was 123.9 pounds. I am 114.6. Excuse me. You know what I mean? Excuse me. Like, I'm so proud of that and um, I hope this is motivating to you and I can totally make more like recipe videos and things that I'm eating but I don't really need to do that because I'm not really making a lot of recipes anymore. Um, I did make a hearts of palm salad but I got it from another creator so I'd have to like shout her out and stuff. Um, so maybe I could give you guys that recipe that was really good um, and super healthy. It was interesting to see like my body water and all of that stuff. I was like, whoa, apparently I have like a lot of muscle. I'm feeling so fit, so healthy. I'm gonna go get pictures in this little set because it's just so cute and such a cute color. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys. And yeah. So this is her. This is my little set from Garage. Um, the pants don't feel tight at all. Like there's like room. So size small, that's my regular size. So definitely true to size. But this, I should have got a medium. I'm a fan of this. I need like a million more cute workout sets. So cute, right? Cute, cute. Oh yeah, and these are my new Hoka's. I love the white on white. I just feel like it'll match with everything, you know? I've had these for a few months now. I'm obsessed with them and I love this color that I got 
the color again because these are my original ones are kind of beat up at this point a little bit gross a little bit dirty just need a little TLC though so I'm gonna wear this with my outfit for the pictures so that they look extra cute I don't know but I feel like I'm actually a workout girly now so I am allowed to take workout set pictures and post them on Instagram do you like my shoes mrs. me go get yourself some Hoka Clifton nines for real Hoka sponsor me <laughs> just kidding they would never later that same evening for the grocery re-up we have organic free-range eggs i don't know if that's the same as pasture raised but it's fine um my bananas all the sodas are for seb but they are zero sugar so if i want any two things of strawberries chicken thighs the fair life skim milk that's my favorite from our ninja creamy and then seb loves the chocolate fair life it's so good and then an unsweetened almond. And now we're gonna find a marinade for the chicken tonight. This is our favorite to marinate our chicken with. The cilantro lime simple truth. Or this is also my favorite, sesame teriyaki. So good. Okay, so this is like a birthday cake type one. And then I put a tiny bit of chocolate milk in the respin to make it look softer. So it's like cake batter, chocolate, vanilla, I don't even know. This is so good. Get yourself a Ninja Creamy. It's so easy to work. It's amazing. Oh, also, I don't drink like Coke Zero carbonated drinks anymore. I think that's huge. Um, I just drink water. So that has been a world of difference. I do sleep a lot better. My skin is better. I'm obviously losing weight really quickly, healthily, but quickly. Like it just kind of melts off of you. I don't know how to like describe it. World of a difference, you guys. So yeah, just had to share that. And yeah, it's gonna be a good workout. I'm a little tired this morning than usual, but I like to do fasted. I like to work out fasted. So it's one of those days though where I'm like, do I need an energy drink? Do I need my coffee before? No, because then I'll have to pee on the treadmill. Uh-uh. <laughs> 